So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a 10 year review on my motorcycle, my CB500X, and also what I'm going to do is show you the modifications that I've done in it over the last, well, over since I've owned it. Stay tuned. Roll intro. guys why wouldn't you want to come to Thailand huh look at this awesome come visit hey guys so looking at it so first of all no particular order I've got a horn as you can see it's a horn and it's also got the bit underneath that stops the water flashing up under it and you need to be heard so there you go um, and also the lights. I've got the regular LED white lights and I have got um, Motor Wolf um, lights that have a uh, flashing sequence on them. Uh, the white one side, the white doesn't work but the yellows do and I'll show them uh, for two in a minute. I'll just put it up on the screen. And the same as the white lights, what it looks like when they're on. So going round as well. I have got uh, these cheap, they're like a, they're cheap folding mirrors, okay, from China, they cost me about £4, the double take mirrors are about £80 either side, these cost me £2 a side, and they do exactly the same thing, I'm sure they don't look as great as the double take mirrors, but, they do the same job, and if I smash this up, I'll just buy a new 4 quid cheap Chinese mirrors where if you smashed all your double take up I'm sure you'd be most probably pretty mived off um, crash bars so what I have got is Hepco Becker lower and upper crash bars not rocket science as you can see and then obviously leading down from that you can see the bash plate and the bash plate fixes to the frame because this is the frame here this is the frame it, same as the crash bars, fix it to that and the bolts up to the frame. These are just a few of the steel shots of the bash plate when I brought it um, and it came out of the box. It looks all squeaky clean and shiny and it's made very, very well as you can see, but it was a good purchase, I think. As well, bark busters. Bark busters, they're all in fixed. I've got spaces on mine bring them out just a little bit further so they're not too close down to here on there and also while I've got there these are the type version of uh, grip puppies these were I don't know these were 15 bar they weren't even 50p and I don't think they wear as well as the hush the um, grip puppies but they're cheap and I can just replace them it's no problem at all um, rear brake I've got an extra pad on the rear brake and um, to make it a little bit wider, which it does need, especially when you've got um, like you know proper motorcycle boots, motocross boots on, it does make a difference to that. And I'm most probably going to change the um, <coughs> the pegs on it as well. I've got a Leo Vince SBK exhaust on it, and I've just got like a hugger on the back, as you can see, that stops all the crap going everywhere. You've seen my video on my lap, my soft luggage that I use. I've got one of these little mesh, supposed to stop the seat getting hot and where I live in Thailand. It certainly does. And if it rains also, the water runs off it, which is also good. So what else have I got on the bike? Now, these are only available in Thailand. I spoke to the company and to see if they would actually um, export, but they don't. They, I think they've gone really quiet at the moment. But this is um, Mudskipper. You can see there, well there's the Mud Skipper logo there, Mud Skipper, and this is it, it's alley, it, it goes up and down and it goes back and forward and it just fits on the normal fixings and you've got a bar there that I'll put my GoPro on, which leads me to what's on there. This is a GoPro remote holder, this is just a normal 12 volt cigarette lighter that I put it in for the USB. Then I've got a Motorwolf holds my phone. 
and then these are my lights obviously they don't work because they are fixed off of the ignition wire so they turn off this is just for the white lights and this is the motor wolf and again I'll show you them as I do them um, that's pretty much it really oh yeah and also tank power grips these have been on the bike since new 2013 so they've done well for 10 years I'm most probably at a later stage going to get some, um, not, I'm not worried about them in adjustable, some flip ones. This does stop a lot of this braking, but you can always get them at a later stage. And I've got these Pro Taper. They Velcro at, they Velcro at the back. Velcro at the back. And then a cable tie, which you can see in there. Just keeps the crap off of the forks, to be honest. And this was one. I bought two obviously, but they, they were just so big I just cut them in half and put them because in a cable tie either side. And that works. And a radiator guard. There's a radiator guard there as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. The tyres are Timpson, Chinese brand. This is my fourth set. And they're an 80 20 tyre. So, I think that's about it, folks. Guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a video, and this is just a few things I want to go over about the CB500X. As I said in the video, you know, uh, don't let adventure be in your pocket, let it be in your head, which is true. So, why do I think this is the most underestimated bike? Um, it's a mid range adventure bike, CB city bike, adventure bike. Um, for me, if you just want to commute, it's perfect for that, um, but with a few modifications. Um, it can, it will take you anywhere, and it has taken me anywhere, and also, it is a round the world bike, I will put a link below, it's not videos, but it's a, um, a, a, um, a blog on um, a CB500 go around the world, the preparations for it, everything that they've done to it, so check that out in the, in the link below, um, so it's lighter than big heavy bikes, okay, so it's it's not a big tractor and there's nothing wrong with the big gses and the ktms but i love them they're great bikes but all i'm saying is i think this is underestimated bike for what it can do and for how much you're going to pay for it buck buck for buck pound for pound dollar for dollar the bikes are great the gss the ktms africa twins are great but for me this is a mid-range adventure bike um, with a few modifications, as I said, that you can do. It's got 47 brake horsepower, which isn't, you know, it's not in your 100 brake horsepowers or your 78s. I mean, the old Africa Twins lock I had, I think that was only about 61. You know, not a great deal for the weight, but it was a bike that would take you anywhere, you know, proved in the Dakar. That's where it sort of made its mark. Um, so, you know, it's got four zero, they're made here in Thailand. For me, it's cheap to maintain. Um, Parts are readily available for it, so whether you want to put a bash plate, crash bars, or just leave it as standard, you can get all the bits for it, and there's loads of parts for it everywhere, you know. Um, and also, it's versatility in what it can do and what it will do for you. I mean, it's not going to race around a track like a motocross bike, it's not a motocross bike, it's not a dirt cross, uh, not a dirt bike, but it will go off road. You know, unpaved roads and a little bit dodgy ones. I'll put a link in below, or this guy, see if I can put the link in that drives his CB500. Hey, pretty much like a dirt bike, really. But I'll, I'll put the link in below for that as well. Um, to say you've got a Honda reliability and the support throughout the world for it, so it's really good for that way. You know, like I said before about adventure is what you want it to be. I mean, like Ed March, C90 Adventures. There's a channel, you know. Check him out, C90 Adventures. The guy's got a C90, he uses what he's got and goes. And the adventures he has is great. So don't feel as if you've got to have a massive, great big bike and all the panniers loaded up with everything to go and have adventure and have fun. You know? Um, all the media's telling you that you know you need a 1290 or a GS and uh, with big panniers and carry everything with you and they're only doing that i mean they're fantastic bikes so don't think i'm knocking them i'm not but what i'm saying is they're just selling you a vision you know if you buy the big 1200 with all the panniers and everything on it you can go around the world you go around the world on the c90 you can go around the world on the cb 500x you can go around the world on any bike that you've got the adventure bike that you want is most probably the bike that you've got you know um so for me, you know, with the budget and everything like that, it's a great all-rounder bike. That's why I think it's the underestimated bike around there. It's got a massive following throughout the world. Australia, Thailand, America, everywhere you go. There's loads of Facebook forums for these bikes. Um, 
you know, so that's why I think it's underestimated because it will it's a versatile bike that will take you anywhere, anywhere you like, and you've got the support for Honda, you've got, you know, the Honda reliability, like I said, you know. So let's get on to the issues. Right, since I've owned the bike 10 years, the, these are the issues, not many of them to be honest with you, but the issues that I had was the water pump uh, leak really, really early on. And it was just like, you know, the water pump was leaking, you can tell by the, the greeny, the greeny blue fluid running down the side of the water pump. And I took that to Honda's, Honda Big Wings, which uh, this is the main dealers here in Thailand. Uh, when I lived on an island in, in Thailand, I used to take it to Suratani. I now live closer to Phuket. I'm still on the mainland, but Phuket's an island. So Honda Big Wings are the main dealers for the bigger bikes, over 300cc. It was all done under warranty. Uh, not a problem. And touch wood, I've never had any issues with it whatsoever. You know, whatsoever. Um, I've had a couple of wheel bearings. Um, collapse on me, rear wheel bearings. But if you check back on some of my videos... Um, I've just done some about packing light, but before then, I, I used to carry a lot of, we used to be two up, and you know, a couple of 42 litre Hepco Becker panniers and a 90 litre Ottilieb wet bag. Am I surprised that the, the wheel bearings collapsed? Not really at all. So another reason for me to choose my lighter packing, which is in some of my previous videos. If you want to go back and watch them, then feel free. Um, and I've had uh, left hand side front fork seal uh, go on me, so... You know, it's sort of wear and tear, really, as it is. And I had that, I, again, it's so cheap to fix. I had all my forks rebuilt and new, um, what did I say? Fork, yeah, I had my forks serviced, sorry, and new seals. And I think it was something like 30 quid. It was no more than 45 pound. You know, a couple of thousand baht, 45, 50 pound to have it all done on the big wings. It was really good. And that's the only issues I've had with the bike. I'm coming up to uh, 83,000 kilometres now, and she touched which she's still going great. I love my bike, it's like an old friend, you know? So, and that's why I feel, and this is my own personal, my own personal, before I get the naysayers on there, and if you've come this far to watch the end of the video, this is my own personal view of the bike. Everyone's entitled to their own personal views on whatever they want to do. The thing is, I'm not trying to convince you to buy this bike. I'm not trying to convince you to go around the world. I'm just saying, in my view, this is a great bike. And that's why I feel it's the most underestimated, one of the most underestimated bikes that's out there. You ride what you want to ride. If you don't want to ride a CB500X and you feel it's boring, then hey, don't ride it. You know, don't ride it. But if you've come this far and you feel that way, then hey, you know, you ride what you want to ride. The most important thing is getting out and riding and having fun on your bike. Having fun on your bike. So, you know, it's it, it's just my view on this, which I think is a great bike, and I love my bike. So, if any of you are interested in following my journey, our journey in Thailand for 11 years, then please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment. It helps promote my channel. It helps break... The, or, or the algorithm from YouTube. I don't want anything else apart from maybe share it, maybe like it, leave a comment, guys, or even possibly, if you fancy, subscribe. My channel's got a lot of things, motorcycles, cooking, our daily life in Thailand, part of when I was part of Rescue in Thailand for four, just over four and a half years. And um, so there's bits and bobs on it as an expat couple enjoying their retirement in Thailand. And I've had 11 great years of retirement in Thailand, met some fantastic people, and a lot of them on motorcycles. And so, again, thanks very much for joining me. And for those of you that um, make it to the end, leave a comment in saying, I made it to the end. Hey, as I always say, stay safe, people, but most importantly, ride safe. Be good. Stay safe. Bad badger. Out. So yeah, it's got 47 brake horsepower and 43 newton meters. Newton meter. I still can't say this. Newton meters. Newton, new, newton meters. 47 brake horsepower and 43 newton meters of torque. I think I got that right that time. You wouldn't believe how many times I've tried to say it. Wait.